Good morning from Little Creek Bee Ranch. I have a uh, quick tip that I wanted to share with you this spring. A lot of beekeepers are putting in new wax foundation. Uh, if you have ever priced wax foundation, it's uh, costly, you know, so I'm looking to get the maximum mileage out of my wax that I can. Most of you have seen our videos where we'll press our own wax on the Latvia wax press with a blue light. I don't know why that blue light's there. It looks pretty cool, but whatever. Anyway, there's the size that it, it presses out on the wax press. A little bit, um, it's a little bit longer than our traditional uh, Daydant uh, brood foundation, and, and it's a little bit more narrow from side to side, a little bit more. It's okay, not a problem, but what we will do is we will take um, a board, it's our medium board, and after we've pressed it, we'll pull it out and we'll set it on a, you know, on the table, and we'll get our measurement and we'll take a pizza roller and we'll just roll it right down along the board. Now this is a medium size, and the remainder can be used in frames. Now watch this. This medium section that we just cut, that medium section will go over here in a brood frame. It doesn't have to be all the way down. The bees are going to harvest wax and move wax around anyway. This just gives them a good pattern. As many of you know, we use a fishing line to hold in the foundation. That's from Don Kuchenmeister, the Fat Bee Man. A smart idea. I would recommend you learn how to do that. But that piece that we first cut goes here, and then the remainder, the remainder piece, goes in the medium. Same principle with fishing line both sides. It doesn't have to come all the way down to the bottom. My point is I would rather cut the sheet in two and do and do two different types of frames than to just use one. You can do the same thing if you order a wireless brood foundation and then cut it down just like this and you can accomplish basically the same thing. Now I'm not done, okay, now watch this. So now that I have those two pieces installed, what I'm going to do is take the principle of the tabbed frame, brood and, and the medium, see those are tabbed, that's the cleat or the wedge that's just been turned sideways and stapled in with a T44, T45 stapler just like that. Staple it in sideways and the other frame is a brood frame, it's just an old wired frame that we had laying around, same principle. But what I'll do is now that I'll, I'll take the tabbed frame and I'll come over here and I'll put it against the side wall, against the side wall, and then the frame that has the foundation in it, it goes next to the tabbed frame. Okay, whoops, next to the tabbed frame, and, and then a tab and foundation tab, foundation, tab, foundation, tab, foundation, etc. Alright, now that allows the bees to come up any either the side wall or the foundation and pull that wax down. You've got to alternate them. But now I've just doubled the distance of my wax. I get a two for one over here because I got a, a brood and a medium and they get fitted in. I do the same exact thing in a brood box. The tabbed frame will go against the side wall, against the side wall, and then the foundation, tab, foundation, tab, foundation, all the way across. I want the outside to be tabs because they'll come up the side wall and go down, and that will put me an odd number in the middle. It'll be two or three foundations. That's okay. But do you see, do you see, because cost just rolls into this, and, I, and it just gets real expensive. So when we press our own wax, we'll cut it that way. We'll use a board. We'll put it up there. And we'll cut it, zip it down. That gives us two pieces. They then go into our wax box, left and right, left and right side. We'll take those pieces, put them in a medium frame and a brood frame. Accordingly, the fat one will go in the brood frame. And because we already know starter strips and tabs, we can now double our distance here. So now we're getting a two for one over here and we're able to double the distance of our boxes because of the tabs. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to everyone. 
you're going to have to use your old smarts to get maximum distance and mileage out of your boxes. Otherwise, you're just going to spend a lot of hand time, a lot of hand work, and, and cost that I think you could otherwise cut back on. So I get double the distance on the boxes because I do the tabs as well. You just have to alternate them. So I hope that makes sense to you. That's a wonderful tip I thought I would share with others that you can maximize your wax and maximize your boxes and get more for less. Have an awesome day.